All right, I'm gonna go up here and check out the uh, salsa garden, which I've already seen. Um, I guess last week we took a took a late freeze and uh, pretty much wiped out the tomato plants and the jalapeno plants. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at them. Looks like the strawberries survived, but let's go ahead and take a look at them. All right, as you can see, the uh, tomato plants and the jalapeno plants. You can hardly see that, maybe. This one here, here, and all three of them. Really, the salsa garden died from the freeze. Um, I did go to my local nursery, picked up some uh, some uh, replacements there. These are the cantaloupe. I never did plant those. These are the yellow watermelon. Um, had some seeds from last year I just replanted. Two of them came up, so I'll just do the two, and I'll just do the, uh, the two cantaloupe. But as you can see, also, the strawberry plants made it, though. So that's good. Real happy about that. No problems with that. So I'm gonna uh, show you some footage of our local nursery that we use. I think I'm going to uh, try to take a shortcut today. I think I'm just going to leave the tomato cages in there. Um, I mean, they were only in there about a week, week and a half before the freeze came. So they shouldn't have been rooted. Um, this one did have a little tomato growing on it. But, oh well. Pull these up. Yeah, it should be pretty easy. We'll still over there where the cows are. Go ahead and get this planted. Hopefully, I can do this with inside the cage. Shouldn't be much of a problem, but uh, it's good and wet. We've had a lot of rain lately, probably three or four inches in the last day. 
a lot of flash flooding, hail. It's kind of our normal Oklahoma spring weather we got, late spring. Elasticity for salsa from the Roma tomato. It's kind of a nice uh, medium elasticity, I think, for it. We eat a lot of the salsa in the summertime because it's nice and cool. And then the grape tomatoes. I kind of like those on uh, just regular salad. These look good and healthy. I've never had this brand before. I think it's um, Charlie's uh, Southern Vegetables. Usually, you know, you get Bonnie or, or something like that. Um, but these look really good. I don't know where they're from exactly. I don't know if they're local or or what. Uh, Arkansas, Van Buren, Arkansas. Where they're from? So they're not too far away. Yeah, probably should have, uh, you know, loosened up the soil a little bit, but they'll grow as long as we don't get another another freeze. Continue to grow. Oops. And I probably won't trim them this time. I'll go ahead and wait a week or, or two to trim them. Let them... Uh, use of the shock of the replanting so I'll just wait to trim them of course I took that off by accident now with the jalapenos they are the bonnie seems to be uh, pretty popular in the around this location small they were honestly the jalapenos because these are a mild a milder jalapeno um, keep it mild because the, my, the kids like to eat the mild sometimes those uh, other peppers are way too hot for them and, you know the, the ghost peppers and other peppers they were looking to you know the Thailand peppers and stuff like that the other chili peppers they had a ton of those but honestly slim pickings on, on these jalapeno, just kind of regular jalapeno ones. So I'm hoping that they'll do well. I'm sure they will. Replanting this area here. There. As you can see, they're kind of they're kind of small, and they are the Bonnie, and this one here. We'll see how they do. You know, the other ones, the other peppers, they were like three times as large as these, but like I said, it was real slim pickings on, on the jalapenos. And I just didn't want to do the ghost peppers. I couldn't do that to my kids. <laughs>
20 or 30 of them at a time I'm doing you know what I got here seven plants I don't really need you know 100 seeds it would take me years years to use those up and yeah I, I could trade with with neighbors and things like that that's not a big deal I could do that um, but you know a lot of my neighbors they, they don't grow a garden over the years all right we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up all right like I said um, we took a late freeze about a week ago about a day after the freeze the tomato plants that I planted earlier they just all died so did the uh, jalapeno plants um, I did go and purchase some at my local nursery here right there and I got some uh, some footage I'll show I'll cut in here so you can see what the, uh, the nursery kind of looks like. Find where I had them last year. So, I think I did keep the cantaloupe in the container a little too long. This one's looking pretty puny. So, I'm really not sure if it's gonna make it, but these are the Haley's Best Jumbo in their uh, red dirt. Red Dirt brand. Yeah, looking kind of puny. We'll see if it can pull through. If not, I'll just have to replant this because they did have plenty of uh, um, cantaloupe up there. But yeah, this is not looking good. Probably kept it in the container too long. Been a little busy. Been, uh, if y'all follow along in the channel, I've been posting a lot of uh, a lot of uh, soccer videos and volleyball so that's in full swing so most of my weekends have been uh, involved with uh, youth sports and this weekend you'll probably see some of the uh, videos upload before you see this video uh, Aiden and I we are heading to to Wichita for a tournament it's kind of a nice uh, guy strip there be nice and relaxing a little bit not as many people in a hotel room things can get a little crowded when you get five people in one room all right yeah i think this uh this one here is probably going to be replaced so oh well it is what it is it's you know it's on me All right, here's the uh, tomatoes. Like I said, the Roma tomatoes here, jalapeno, and the uh, the grape right there. Again, the strawberries are looking good. They did well through the freeze, that late freeze. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I'll get much fruit off of them since it was such a late freeze. But hey, you know, at least they didn't they didn't get frozen like the tomato and jalapenos. Um, then over here, of course, you can see the weeding I did. The the cantaloupe, the Haley's uh, jumbo. Like I said, that one there is looking pretty puny. Not sure if it's going to make it. Then the uh, the cantaloupe plant there, same same type. And then the the watermelon, as you can see. Let me zoom in there a little bit. There you go. Um, those are uh, going to be yellow watermelon if they make it. I'm not sure if they're uh, going to grow too well since it's a seed from another uh, watermelon not sure if uh if it's uh altered or not so you can or can't um, but everything yeah really starting to green up a little bit around here pretty excited about the growing season ready for some warmer weather and everything looks like it's going well we'll just keep it watered and fertilized a little bit and hopefully we'll start getting some uh some vegetables and some fruit pretty soon so thanks for tuning in appreciate you watching and the views that you give us go ahead and hit that like button if you like and uh, we'll see you on the next one